All right, we're back. So we're looking at this. We've just graphed this, y equals 5x plus 1, and we're going to go on to this one. So again, looking at the form, we see that the form is in y equals mx plus b. Logically, we're going to want to graph exactly like this. So I'm going to give you a moment to see if you can figure out how to graph this before I go ahead and graph this. So do yourself a favor and, give, and pause the video now to look at how to do this question and see if you can imagine what that line is going to look like. All right. Good. You should be back. All right, now, let's graph this one. So our slope is 2 over 1. Again, don't forget, this. even though the m is a 2 here, we write always the m as rise over run. Next, you have b, you begin at negative 4. So you're going to begin at negative 4, that's the y-intercept, begin at negative 4 on the y-axis, and we're going to follow the slope. So let's draw the dot, there it is, at negative 4, and we're going to go 1, 2, up, and run one. And there it is. Go again. One, two, up. And run one. And you keep going and all the way through to create dots to help us for our line. All right. And we're going backwards. Note that even we can go backwards, folks, just so that we have a bunch of dots to create our line that we need. There it is, folks. And don't forget it has arrows on either side and it has an equation. y equals 2x minus 4. It is not y equals mx plus b because y equals mx plus b is just a random equation. y equals 2x minus 4 is actually the name of this. All right, to the last one. We want to graph this one. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's move this a little bit downward so we can see what we're looking at. In this question, this is not in y equals mx plus b form. You could essentially isolate and find that, but remember that there is another method of graphing, and that's called x and y intercept. We're going to use that to graph this. So, we want the x intercept. What does x intercept mean to you? Well, that means, hopefully, if you're thinking about if it crossing the x axis, that means that y must equal 0. Well, if y must equal 0, the equation is going to be 6x is equal to 18. That means that x is equal to 3. How does that help us? Well, if x is equal to 3, we know it crosses the x-axis at 3. So the coordinates for that is going to be 3, 0. The next thing we want is the y-intercept. The y-intercept means that x is going to equal 0. Okay, so that means it's crossing the y-axis. So we plug in 0 for the y. So it's almost essentially like folks, like you'd sit there and you set, get rid of the x and find out what y. See how I'm covering it with, my, with the hand here? Now I'm going to look at it to be negative 2y equals 18. How is that going to help us? Well, look up here on the equation. You see the hand. I'm covering the 6x. We've got negative 2y equals 18. Divide by negative 2, and you end up with negative 9. So recap one more time. When y equals 0, we get rid of the y. So all we have is 6x plus 18 equals 18. And we get when we want the y-intercept, we get rid of the x, so we, sub, we get rid of that, and look what we have. We have negative 2y equals 18. So we're able to find the value. So now we're going to plot this. So we plot our points at, just a second, whoop, there's our line. That might be a little bit, little bit too fast for you, so let's go through this slowly. So we have one at 3, so we have a point at 3. We have another point at negative 9. Right here, we draw our line, draw our arrows, and give us the name of the actual line. So that is the original name that was given to you. All right, so that is how to basically graph lines. Hopefully, this has helped remind you from grade 9, and this now we can move forwards. All right, next question. Well, I'm going to issue the homework now, folks. So I need you to go to page 4 in your textbook. Those of you without a textbook, I recommend you take a picture of page 4 
and write and do those problems. Also, I want you to find the unique characteristics of the following streets. You'll note that from we already did this last week, but I'm just reminding you of all the different streets that we had and finding those unique characteristics. Why? Well, tomorrow we're going to talk more about these. And some of these might be new to you, some of these streets. So maybe we can just go over these and make sure you remember these names. You remember the unique characteristics of these streets. And if you can't remember all of them, folks, take a picture of this page before the video is done so then you can actually go and answer these questions. Don't forget that this is going to be important for tomorrow's lesson. All right, guys. See you, on this, see you tomorrow. Have a numerical night. Take care. Bye.